In this video, we are going to look at the Number Worlds Student Edition. So I am already logged in to my McGraw-Hill account, and I have Number Worlds listed as one of my classes. So I'll just go ahead and launch that class. And then I can see the main page of the Number World Student Edition. There are a couple things here. We have assignments, building blocks, and math tools. So let's focus on the assignments to start. Teachers can assign games, and in order to complete those, we'll just click on that assignment. You'll see the directions right here and the game link right here. So we'll just click on that link to open up that game. In the games, there is audio. I have that muted for right now, but it does give you different directions and examples. This is the number of items that you have to complete for that particular game. Now, when you're completed with the game, this is gonna automatically close, and then we'll just wanna click Submit, so that will go into our completed assignments. The other thing that teachers can assign is the student workbook. And that workbook, it, it follows kind of the same structure as the game. We'll see the instructions here and then the link to the workbook. So this says the pages to complete. And we'll want to make sure we note that because when we open up the workbook, this is an ebook and we'll have to navigate to that page that the teacher has requested. So I'm on pages four and five. I can just click one over to get to pages six and seven. I'm looking at two pages right now, but I can go down to one page and then zoom in on the top of the screen and even toggle to zoom a little bit more, okay? Now, in order to complete these pages, we need to annotate on this actual screen using the tools in the upper left. So I can use the pen tool. I can make it just a little bit wider pen here, and then I can answer this question, okay? So um, and this is asking about the value, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna do seven as our answer here. Okay, we can continue the same. So this is looking at value now we have eight, but these are 10, so this is gonna be 80. And eight is a little harder to write, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so we can use that pen tool to put in any answers. Now we can also, this is a little bit easier, just open up a sticky note, that's the second icon here. And I can just go ahead and put my answers in the sticky note. So number one is seven, number two is 80. I could continue and then post that sticky note. You'll actually see it on the upper right. Any pen annotations and or sticky notes that I put on the page, the teacher is going to be able to see those and score the workbook. So that's how we'll annotate that page using the pen or the notebook so the teacher has access to those. Now when I'm done, I just close out of that window. It's gonna say changes may not be saved. We just click leave, it's okay. It's actually going to remember everything. And then again, you'll click submit when done, okay? The last thing that a teacher could assign is an assessment. Same thing, we'll click on that assessment. The link is right here. That'll open up in a new window. And then we can just begin that particular assessment, okay? I had already started this, so it's asking me if I want to continue, and I do. I, you'll see those questions on the side, and then you'll put your answers here. So that's for any assessment. Now, you'll notice that I'm in the assignments and those other icons disappeared. So in order to get back to the main page, I just click on the Number Worlds logo, or they're listed up in the upper right as well. So if our teacher is assigning particular games, those are going to be here. If our teacher wants us to work on any learning trajectories for building blocks, those are linked right here. But let's go to our math tools and games. These are virtual manipulatives, which are a really fun thing to work with. I'm gonna click on Browse All, so you can see all of those different game boards, manipulatives, and tools. Now your teacher might ask you to work with some specific game boards, manipulatives, or tools, maybe providing a video on how to do that, but you can also kind of explore on your own. I wanna open up a manipulative, for example. To use this, I'm just gonna drag and drop it to the screen. Now I can break down different manipulatives and move things around. I can get rid of a single piece by dropping it into that trash can. To clear my page, I'm gonna click on the broom in the bottom right and then I kind of start from scratch. I'm gonna go back to browse all. Let's look at something else, for example. Let's do, ooh, let's do this one, the net tool. 
Now this is going to take a minute to open up. This is a pretty complex tool, but I want you to notice nothing happens at first. That's because I need to drag and drop this add tool feature to the screen. Okay, so I click, drag, drop, and now I have my virtual tool here. And this one is pretty cool. I can manipulate this cube. I can also set up some different parameters here. It's going to give me surface area, volume, etc., over on the side. So that's a really fun tool to play around with. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I can also just add things directly from this screen. So let's say I want a game board. I can click on that game board and then add any manipulatives, any pawns, etc or dot cubes to roll the dice. A person probably isn't the best manipulative for this one, but we're just kind of having fun now. Um, dot cubes, here we go. And we can roll the dice. So you can see that there are a bunch of different fun manipulatives, game boards, and tools on this Number World site. So your teachers may have something specific to work with, or you can also just play around on those whenever you want to. So that's our Number World site. Uh, make sure that you are completing those assignments and using those virtual math tools to your advantage.